All right, before we get into the effects processing side of things, I wanted to make a very clear point here. As long as you've properly acoustically treated your space and it's soundproofed, you have great microphone technique and you've set your levels properly, you really don't need to do any processing to your audio. In the majority of cases, casting agents and especially audio engineers don't want you messing with the audio on your end as far as effects processing goes anyway. The reason for this is anything that you do to the audio as far as effects processing goes, like EQ and compression, can't be undone by the engineer you're likely sending your audio off to, which ultimately ties their hands not allowing them to process the audio the way they might need to for the client and spot. For auditions, light processing can be totally fine as long as you know what you're doing, which is why you're taking this class. I teach what I like to call responsible processing, basically processing that will improve your audio but won't get you in trouble. For example, putting a high pass filter on your audio with EQ is light processing. Now, this will make more sense once you dive into the EQ section if you choose to, but that would be totally fine when it comes to auditions. You can get away with doing more to your audio when it comes to auditions. However, when it comes to booked jobs, you really aren't supposed to do anything to your audio whatsoever. Record the audio and send it. That's it. But one thing you could do is if you book a job, you could send them two audio files, one file that's completely raw and untouched like we spoke about earlier, and then a second file where you've added whatever processing you'd like. That way, you haven't tied their hands in any way. They have two files to work with if they want the option. So, to recap, when it comes to auditions, light processing is fine or responsible processing, which is what you're going to learn from me. A high pass filter with EQ, some mouth declicking, some light denoising, and some light compression. That would be acceptable for auditions, what, you know, what you're going to learn from me here. As long as you don't hear it drastically altering your audio, then you're probably good to go. Use your ears. But when it comes to book jobs, don't do anything to your audio. Record it and send it. That's it. Unless you want to do the two file thing that I spoke about earlier or the client or casting asks you very specifically to do something. Finally, back to what I was saying in the beginning of the video. If you have no interest in learning about the processing side of things and you have all those things in check that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, then you don't have to even worry about putting any processing on your audio whatsoever. At this point, it's totally up to you if you'd like to learn this stuff and utilize it or not. If you want to know for sure if you need to use processing or even improve your space so you don't need to use processing, sign up for my audio checkup service in the description of this video and I will let you know. All right, see you in the next one.